Hey guys, Shane here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a Roblox shirt. So first of all, go to the, the develop page and download the Roblox shirt template. So one, what you do once you've clicked the download here, um, reopen it, you just want to right click and save image as and place it where you like. After that, you want to search up Roblox Shading Template and pick which one you like. Make sure it has the transparent background and it's a PNG. So once you've got that, I like to prepare myself before everything and then go to Cool Patterns or search up whatever type of pattern you want and find one. I like the camo here, so I'm going to be using that in this video. Next, you want to just search up a brand if you want to, if you want to. So I'm just going to do, hmm, I could do Supreme or whatever. But um, there's this clothing store which is called Gunda, which I sh shop like had a little shop at not long ago. So I can go Gunda logo, and you can see. They are pretty good one. Like it's a good brand. Well, you can't really see that, but hmm, you can't really find any. But <laughs> I'll just do what most people will probably do is either Supreme or Nike, just the main brands. So well, for this type of stuff, I might just use this because why not I'm just going to snip into all that image and there we go that should be all right now just put it whatever name okay so next you're just going to want to go into Photoshop and open up your template so you can see I've got the template here after that you just want to get the magic wand tool click and then you can hold shift down to select multiple things so what you want to do is double click this once you've selected everything and then just press delete now I've already got a picture saved which I recommend doing is saving the picture as a transparent image so every time you want to do it it's already there and done then you want to go click file file and then place so you want to find your um, pattern and place it in now I'm just going to do it so not the whole thing covers and it's stretched I just try and get it like the least stretched I can my Photoshop's lagging a lot because I'm recording. Sorry if it's a bit laggy, the recording itself. Okay, that should be good now. Yes, it is lagging quite a bit. And you just want to, with here, you want to drag it down to the bottom. Now it should look like that. Now, what you want to do is go File, Place, and then you want to find your shading template and fill up the whole square so you can see now it just gives it that little bit extra of like a better look now this is optional you can just keep it this straight pattern but some people do this as well if you want to look more like just an easier look it looks more appealing sometimes with shirts um i'm going to probably use you can use a lot i reckon with this you want to go in the row to the left of colors so i'm going to just go i can just a black with this and you can see here i've got that and if that pops up just press ok and fill up everything black you will see why when i'm done 
Well, I can't upload it because I do not have Builders Club. So my account got banned, basically. Just simple as that. Um, I will try and leave like a link to this picture in the description if you want this. Actually, no, I'm not because you can make it yourself. And I'm not giving away just free shirt. Now what you want to do is go to the corner of the image and do it so basically around halfway of the circle is on the line of the other colour. So that should be good enough now. And you want to do the exact same thing. And that should fill it up. You don't have to do this either. You can just keep it like that. But I'm going to do this. Because it's the way I do it. And it's the way sometimes I like it. So I can don't do that. Okay. Now I'm just going to go copy paste. And move that over. I might delete that because I have a better idea. Okay. Sorry this is taking a while. It's just I'm trying to get it done fast as possible so it's not that long of a video. I know it is taking a while. I do not know how long it is taking, but because I don't want to have to open up the OBS thing and interrupt the video. Now, what you want to do is get your circular tool, which you also used for this. If you don't know how to access that, just right click the rectangular select and press the um, elliptical tool. And if you want to get to the paintbrush it, uh, bucket, it should have this here, the gradient tool. You just want to right click it and do paint bucket. So now what you want to do is have an, around a little circle, I'd say, that big at most. And just have it sort of hanging just that, that far down, down for a little neck, neck hole. hole. Which does look a lot better, this type of stuff. Okay, so that's done there. Now, I've finished most of my stuff. All I'm going to do now is just get the logo I found. And put it on the shirt. Okay, there we go. So that does look pretty good, not gonna lie. And actually, hmm, guys, comment below if you want this photo and the person I pick to win, I will send the um, picture to so they can have it for themselves. I'm just going to save this. Sometimes you can just choose like a random name, but with format, you click that and go PNG. So I'm just going to name it hmm, Camo Supreme. And that's all you basically need to do. I've been saying basically a lot. I know, I am sorry. But yeah, sorry about that little burp thing. Okay, so thank you guys for watching the video. Um, before I forget, I am well. Just leave a comment below if you want me to make you a banner for YouTube because I've been getting into that type of stuff. I've got 
as you can see this little photo and this is my banner my newest one i have recently updated it so it looks like that and don't forget to also check out more of my um little thing like you know my other little videos and check out these people here in the featured channels okay guys well again thank you for watching please leave a comment below also what you want to see next and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya